Okay, folks, here we have a 23BH fun finder. Um, I posted some photos on Face Cruiser Facebook page about uh, a ca under cabinet uh, drawer there we made in the dining, dining room set. Um, typically every um, camper that I've ever been in always has some type of a under seat storage. So I'm gonna go through this a little bit to show you how I made it. Um, and we'll start with um, the one I didn't work on. So typically it has a, you know, door that opens like that. I already took the cushions off and flipped it up so you can see inside. Uh, pretty simple frame, uh, not much to it to be quite honest, uh, but it's strong enough to sit on, hold stuff in. Uh, but the problem is the access. You have to take the cushions off and pick this plywood up if you want to get anything that's of any size because the doors, well, it's not really that big. So what I did was I made this draw setup and just, you know, I do have carpentry experience. Um, I was trained as one many years ago. Um, so I have a lot, had some lumber and plywood around the house that I made this with. Um, didn't really spend a lot of money, but I suppose if you were to go out and buy stuff, you're probably looking at maybe $50 worth of material. Um, so I'll show you. So the draw, I kind of left it the same as it uh, you know, was the door handle on the front. Um, it slides all the way out. Um, take it out. So if, so if you look at it, it's really just a box. Um, it's made out of some uh, mahogany plywood that I happen to have around. Um, and then these are just some old shelves that I used. Um, those are solid pine. I would recommend that if, whatever you do, you make it out of plywood. Um, it doesn't tend, tend to swell or uh, move much and it stays, it's very, it stays very straight. So as you can see, it's just a piece on the bottom and then I, I nailed side pieces to it, glued it, then um, attached the actual draw face that came with the camper to the front. And um, I left the handle on the side, it works just as well. Um, and then I'm not drilling extra holes in the, in the face. But if you go inside and look inside here, so I put these two rails one here and one on this side. Um, this is actually just a two by four that I ripped. Um, and you can see it sticks up a little bit um, from the bottom. So this is about uh, one and three quarters of an inch tall and it's one and a half wide. That doesn't really matter too much. Um, and then there's just a piece of pine on the inside here. Um, that's one by four pine and just attached to it. Um, and then, you know, the, the draw slides in here. And so you can kind of see another picture on this side. Um, I screwed it through the floor because there is a plywood deck under here. Just have to make sure that these screws don't go more than about a half an inch into the plywood. Um, it's only down for so it doesn't have to be really too strong. Um, it just has to hold it in place. And then on the inside here, I did put some, a screw here and a screw on this side just to hold it in place. Um, the key to this is uh, measure about six times, uh, cut once because um, this distance from here to here is very, is critical because um, you want about a quarter inch of, of space, so one eighth inch on each side, wider than the bottom of your draw. Um, so that, you know, helps it slide better. I mean, you could put butcher's wax in here and stuff like that to make it slide. Um, it's, it's really pretty simple. And then at the top here, I put this other one by four around here. So this makes it a little bit stiffer. But this also matches up with uh, the top of the draw to keep it from uh, bouncing up and down. So we'll put this back in here. Um, and, you can, and you can see right here. So there's a space right here. It, it, it allows it to not move up and down too much. I mean, you could so you have this space right here. Um, it keeps it from going up and down. Um, like I said, you, you could, like I said, it's definitely key to measuring and making sure everything is good um, and, 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 and tight. Because this, this unit here, so this draw is about 36 inches long, roughly 17 inches wide. So inside dimensions about 16 inches wide. Um, it could be a little bit longer, but quite honestly, um, I, I'm, I'm using scrap, so I decided to um, lose three inches. Uh, this could be about 39 inches long if I want it to be, but um, I'm just using lumber I had around the house. You could certainly make it go all the way to the back, wouldn't make a difference. Um, 
in my previous camper, we had um, the same type of setup. It was a Coachman Class B, um, and I actually used draw slides, um, which I purchased. Um, roller draw slides, typically like you would have in your kitchen, because um, they do make them this long, 36 inches. I make them much longer than that, actually. Um, but a couple things come with using those slides. One, you lose some space, so you lose minimum another half an inch on each side um to so so the draw width would be narrower and then the other issue is, is they're ball bearing so it does tend to move much easier um and, and one of the issues we had was finding a good catch to keep the door from flying open and taking a hard turn um in the camp or even not even a hard turn for that matter um so right now i just use the, the 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 catch that was that came with the camper um you see the piece here and Plenty strong enough to keep that closed. Don't don't need much force. Um, and then and then, you know the wood on wood will help that too. It won't whip out. Um, you could also put stops in here um, if you, if you wanted to to keep it from from going any further than you want. But um, we'll see how that works out. We may put those in later. Um, if, but I, I think you know just pulling it out to what we need is is good for now. Um, I'm sure there's many ways to, you can do this. This was very simple. Um, I spent about three hours on it. Again, um, experienced carpenter. So been around wood all my life. Um, to, but I, I would say even if you have, uh, if your skill level on a scale of one to 10 is a two, might take you all day on a Saturday. But I, the, you know, the key is measuring. Um, everything's glued together um, on the box. So that helps regular wood glue. Um, and, and just attach it and screw it together. Um, pretty basic. Um, I'm sure you could even do it in a simpler way if you wanted to. Um, you know, but it worked for us in our last camper, actually last two campers I did this. And um, like I said, it works out really well. Typically we just keep our pots and pans in there um, or items that we, um, you know, big, because there's not a lot of storage underneath the sinks and stuff like that. And um, it just makes it so much easier to access. And lifting, lift, lifting up the cushions all the time. So any questions, uh, you guys can reach out to me um, on the Facebook page, message me, whatever, glad to help. Uh, but again, I think it's um, go from lifting up the cushion to not lifting up the cushion. Works out great. Thank you.